Alrighty, my tech bros. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was so bad. Um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Welcome to Dead Battery. This is the first. Te technically, I'm gonna say it's the second. Listen, this is the second show of Dead Battery. Um, this is the first time he's saying Dead Battery as the show. Um, it's the tech segment of the channel where basically we're gonna be learning about tech every single week at least an hour uh, maybe i push it to a little bit more maybe i don't but this is f for me honestly but but also for you so that way you can learn with me i'm never gonna claim um to know a lot about all righty maxwell the cat from cm what the hell is this here's maxwell the cat what's up buddy trip hazard thanks so much for dropping by wow the main channel it is the main channel listen this is a now a show dedicated show to tech um called dead battery I, I actually didn't put it in the title i should have but uh w name i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie it was a w name it was a w name tell me it wasn't a w name everybody come on let's be honest let's just be honest everybody w name absolute w name um dead battery i even made a little bro little bro thinks he can make a show such as mine all right look i even made a little i made a little thing for it dead battery this is gonna be like on the channel it's gonna be like right here above my head or something um uh, it's the only reason it's not on right now is because of uh i couldn't get it in time it's it's still messed up so i have to fix it later but uh but yeah so we're gonna be talking about cpus how fun and exciting cpus <laughs> Uh, we're going to talk about him, learn about him, stuff like that. <clears throat> Little bro thinks he makes sense. Uh, but it's broken? Wait, what? What's broken? Wait, what's broken? Bro, bro, do an intro. I already did. Do an intro with Stolly? Stolly has not dropped by. But I'd love for her to drop by. I think that'd be really cool. Alrighty, listen. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to. Combat zone is broken. What is that? What is combat zone? Listen, we're gonna stop. We're gonna we're gonna drop into it. We're gonna be learning about CPUs. Honestly, I thought last stream was pretty good, but it was a little dead in terms of like I think it could be a little bit more chill. Um, Lo-fi non-copyright music. And if anything, we could even just go to actually. Oh my God! You know what? I, epidemic sound is what we could do. Oh my goodness. We literally just hit up lo-fi. I mean. Oh. Hey. Yo. Wait. Log me in. Log me in, buddy. All right, we have to start the stream soon. Do you guys know how CPUs work? Dead ass, dead ass. Hey. Dang. Dang. I like it. I like it. Hey. I like this. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Sound need to go down a little, little bit. Ooh. They did update it. I don't even know what a CPU is. I just know the MetaQuest 3 is something you should get. Maybe, maybe. I have to see, to be honest. To be honest. Where's the levels, bro? Oh, there it is. Is that better? Is that like a good level, everybody? Is that an okay level? Is that an okay level? Or no? Is that okay level or is that too low? I love this though. This is such a cool... Ooh! <laughs> okay. Thanks so much, everybody, for coming by, dropping by. This is Dead Battery, the show 
where I basically dive into tech. This is not only for me, but this is for you on the watch back, hopefully. But you can tune in live, as you can see from the chat on this side. <laughs> you can tune in live. Hopefully, they can catch you at the next live one. But today, we're delving into the CPU realm. What is the CPU? What does it do? I've been, I've been asking myself this question because I've been thinking about possibly, I'm gonna lower down the music a little bit, possibly upgrading my own CPU, primarily uh, because I want better performance. And to be quite honest, I don't know whether the performance aspect would be better utilized, uh, my money be better, better utilized by buying a CPU or buying a graphics card, which one is gonna be better at handling more tasks. I think it's CPU, but I could be wrong. I feel like zero would easily get motion sickness from VR. Maybe, I don't know. I tried VR a while back, but, um, <clears throat> and I didn't get motion sickness. It's so weird. My motion sickness is so strange. If you're learning about the world of computers and electronics, terminology used to refer different parts can be confusing. One component term can be encountered. It's CPU, which stands for central processing unit. Whoa. Look at that. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that's what it stand for, stood for. He doesn't get sick, sick of sucking off the apple meat. All righty, buddy. <laughs> what the? F All right, listen, I don't suck off apple meat, okay? I don't do that. I just want to say, quick disclaimer. I'll criticize Apple where it should be criticized, but in my personal opinion, Apple's the most perfect company in the world. Never does any wrong. Buy all of its products. Uh, yeah. <laughs> CPUs reside in almost all devices you own, where it is, whether it is a smartwatch, computer, or thermostat. They're responsible for processing, executing, and executing instructions and act as the brains of the device. Here, we explain the CPU's uh, interaction with other parts in your device, what makes them integral to the um, computing process. Oh shit, wait, hold on, give me two seconds. I'm so sorry. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay, got all that. What makes a CPU a CPU? Oh my God, look at this Ryzen. That's like a CPU brand. A CPU is a core component that, define, uh, that defines a computing device, uh, that defines a computing device. And while it is a critical component, the CPU can only function along alongside other hardware. The silicone chip uh, sits in a special socket located in the main circuit board, a motherboard or main port. Inside the device, it is a se it is separate from memory, which is where information is temporarily stored, and it also is separate from the graphics card or graphics chip, which renders the video and 3D graphics that are displayed on the screen. Hola, what's up, Crystal Waters? Thanks so much for joining. Bro thinks he's smart. Bro, I adjusted my glasses and everything. Man, I'm just hating. Smart guy we got here, absolute genius. You know, I mean, it's, uh, you said it, I didn't, okay? Um, okay, so it's an integral part. CPU can only function alongside hardware. The silicone chip uh, sits inside a special socket. Yeah, it's in the motherboard. Inside the device is separate from memory, which is, is where information is temporarily stored. It also is separate from the graphics card. Is the, let me know everybody in chat if uh, the music is a little much with the reading or is it a good complimentary? I actually kind of want to skip this song. Damn, 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 hey. Okay. <clears throat> Related, the best table tablets in 2023. Oh, okay, we're good with that. Is it a little loud? I don't know if it's a little loud. Maybe it's a little loud for me, I don't know. Okay, CPUs are made by arranging billions of microscopic transistors into a single computer chip. By the way, this is where I'm getting all of my information. Oh, whoa, hold on. If y'all wanna support the page, you should. Link is in the live chat now. Um, go support the page. I just wanna give the disclaimer. I don't wanna steal any of their content, obviously they're right here. 
Um, CPUs are made by arranging billions of microscopic no o zeros going to report me for cyberbullying. I really will. Cyberbullying is not acceptable. I'm just playing. I'm jokes. A uh, billion transistors into a single computer chip. These transistors enable the CPU to perform uh, comput computations necessary uh, for X. Oh my God, what just happened? Sorry, I got all stumbled up. Necessary for executing for executing programs stored in the in your system's memory, functioning as tiny switches, they alternate between on and off states, conveying the binary ones and zeros that underlie all your actions on the device, whether it's watching videos or uh, composing an email. That's so cool. Hey Zero, do you remember the video called You Need Some Milk? I do remember that. I'd rather not remember that. So cyberbullying is acceptable. It absolutely is based. Cyberbully. No, don't cyberbully me. I'm, it's jokes. One of the most common advancements of CPU technology is making those transistors smaller and smaller. That has resulted in the improvement in CPU speed over the decades. Um, often refers to as Moore's Law. Wait, what's Moore's law? Oh, isn't it? Hold on. Moore's law is the observation that the number of transistors in a in integrated circuit. Holy shit, doubles about. Yes? I thought somebody was at my door. Uh, observation is that uh, the number of transistors in a integrated circuit doubles about every two years moore's law is an observation and projection of historical trend rather than law of physics oh okay okay so moore's law is basically stating that every two years the amount of transistors on a is it on a circuit board or on a transistors in an integral integrated circuit what's an integrated circuit then jesus this shit is small what does this look like for you guys? Can you guys, hey Zero, you like Kanye? Um, I don't think so. I don't know, honestly. I don't really care for Kanye. I never listened to his music, so I'm not very attached to the person. Say, I don't really care for Kanye. But, you know. New managing man. Close. I just want to see what this looks like for y'all. Is it, oh, it's kind of clear. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, okay. Wait, what do you guys think about Kanye? Okay, we're gonna get into this. You don't listen to Kanye West music? I do not. I never have. But to be fair, I don't listen to most music. Not as a person, but the music. Um, yeah, e either one. I don't really care for him either way. You listen to Drake, but not Kanye? I mean, I don't listen to Drake like that. I don't really listen to either one like that. I mean, like, Drake got a couple of good hits, you know? I don't know. An integrated circuit, also known as a microchip or IC, is a small electronic device made up of multiple uh, interconnected electronic components such as transistors, resistors, and capacitors. These components are etched into tiny pieces of semiconductors, semiconductor metal, semiconductor material, usually silicone. Uh, integrated circuits are used in a wide range of electronic devices, including computers, smartphones, and televisions to perform various functions such as uh, processing a processing and storing information. They have generally impacted the field of electronics by enabling devices, minimization and enhanced functionality. Cool. Okay. So basically I went through a whole rabbit hole. I'm so sorry. In the context of modern uh, devices, desktop or laptop, in the context of modern devices, a desktop or laptop has a dedicated CPU that performs many processing functions for the system. For the system, Mold <clears throat> take two. <laughs> I need the Max Wien. I'm so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was Drake. I need the Max Wien. That motherfucker is funny sometimes why is he live streaming like he really saw me doing it and decided to hop on like get off drake what are you doing mobile devices and some tablets uh instead utilize systems on chip soc what the hell mobile devices and some tablets instead utilize a system on a chip 
on a chip SOC, which is a chip that packages the CPU alongside other components. Intel and AMD both offer CPUs with graphic chip with graphics chips and memory stored onto them. Two I'm confused. Stored on them. Two meaning they can do more than just standard CPU functions. Okay. I don't I don't know if I read that correctly. But basically, from what I'm understanding on this paragraph, there are some chips that are primarily used for the uh, functions of what the computer is going to do and it encodes it in ones and zeros. All of these little transistors right here basically are like are are like um they're like Christmas lights. When you see Christmas lights on a house and you see that they're flashing on and off, to some degree, they look like they're going in like a wave, but that's kind of your brain making inferences that like, oh, it's going on a in a wave. Like they look like they're kind of moving, but in reality, they're just turning on and off. Your brain is inferring the, the actual movement. But in a computer, these little transistors, these little super small, tiny little components, little metal bits, they're turning on and off, so that way the computer understands in binary, depending on what exact pattern they're turning on and off in, will execute an action. If you wanted to right click on something, the CPU in a matter of super small seconds, from what I understand, is sending a signal and, and creating a bunch of these transistors to turn on and off in exactly the right pattern, in exactly the right way, so that way this pop-up, this pop-up right here, shows up and it has executed some sort of action. Now, if I push back or reload, that's a whole different set of actions that your CPU will enact once you click the button. This is what I'm understanding. I could be completely wrong, uh, but this is what I'm understanding uh, so far. <clears throat> At its core, CPU takes instructions from program and applications to perform a, a, and performs a calculation. These processes break down into three key stages, fetch, decode, and execute. A, CP a CPU fetches the instructions from RAM, decodes the instructions, uh, uh, decodes what the instructions actually is, and then executes the instructions using relevant parts of the CPU. Damn, so it's even crazier. Okay, this is what I, okay. L let's keep reading, let's read at least these two other paragraphs. The executed instruction or calculation can improve basic uh, arrhythmic, arrhythmic com comparing numbers, performing a function or moving numbers around in memory. Since everything is computing, uh, since everything in a computing device is represented by numbers, you can think of the CPU as a calculator that runs incredibly fast. The resulting workload might start up windows, uh, display a YouTube video or calculate compound interest in a spreadsheet. In modern systems, the CPU acts like a ringmaster at the circus by feeding data uh, to specialized hardware as it's required. For example, the CPU needs to tell the graphics card to show an, ex uh, an explosion because you shot a fuel drum in a game, or tell the solid state drive to transfer an office document to the system's RAM for quicker access. Okay, okay, sintiendo, sintiendo. Hold on, give me two seconds. Okay, 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 go, 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 go. So, from what I'm understanding in all of this, why is this the Christmas jams? Do you guys hear this? We're gonna keep going. Okay, so from what I understand on all of this, basically, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. So <laughs> the CPU. So there's like three stages of understanding and executing an action. Originally, what I thought is the CPU got a signal from your mouse. So when I click this right, right button, right? So when I click this, I thought the CPU just went, Broop. it just, he just clicked right key on his mouse. Let's bring up a menu. That's not what happens apparently. So I don't I don't know if this is exactly right, but it seems like instructions, so from here, fetches the instructions from the RAM. So your RAM is, I know, and we'll get in probably into a whole thing about it, probably in a later episode to be honest, but 
Your RAM stands for random access memory. It's typically, and I can't show you guys, unfortunately, but it's typically, hold on, RAM. Um, <laughs> stick of RAM. RAM is these little thingies. So this is what they look like typically, on a computer at least. And these will have your quicker access memories. So these aren't very large. You'll never find like, um, you'll never find like a terabyte of RAM. You'll never find that. Well, I don't think at least. Um, mostly because this is, how? Oh, a good way to explain this. This is gonna be your shopping cart at Target. You'll never, throw a bed on a shopping cart at Target. You are gonna you, you are gonna put the things that you're gonna check out. You're gonna put candles, you might put clothes, you might put groceries, but you're never gonna haul big things with this. And then when you go into um, SSDs, so these are called solid state drives. And I like these a lot because these are gonna be faster in terms of how quick you load things. But these things are gonna be like Ford F-150s in comparison. So these, although they're pretty comparable in size now, these are gonna be uh, more dedicated to, uh, uh, like, like I said, they're more comparable to like a Ford F-150 or like a car in general. You're gonna take all your groceries and you're gonna put it in your car or you're gonna haul uh, a bed because you're moving or maybe you're hauling uh, dirt or whatever it may be. Big loads, big loads of things, but you're not gonna need them really quickly. In a shopping cart, you can always go in there, pick whatever you want, take it out, put it back, throw it away. Um, you're, you're, you're very quick in them, but these are gonna be a lot more stable and you're not moving things around like crazy. Um, but anyway, that's a side tangent. <laughs> so from what I understand, the RAM decodes the instructions and act, uh, uh, instructions RAM decodes what the instructions actually is so the CPU grabs oh okay actually that makes sense a little bit so when I click this bloop, it'll go through the motherboard I'm assuming because there's it's connected to the motherboard the little USB stick it'll go into the RAM the RAM is gonna encode and throw it to the CPU and be like figure this shit out the CPU is gonna decode doo -doo 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 -doo. And then it's gonna say, okay, you need a right click and then sends it to the relevant components that are going to actuate the, uh, the action. So in, that's why you see this happen. That happens so fast. That's so crazy. Okay. <laughs> Cores, uh, clocks and costs. So now we're getting into more of like what clocks are when you overclock or underclock your CPU. Um, what cores, what cores are, what that means when it comes to CPUs, which I'm pretty interested in as well. Originally CPUs had a single, okay, what is good with this Christmas music? Y'all digging the vibes or no? Okay, we'll keep it there, we'll keep it there. <clears throat> okay, originally CPUs had a single processing core. Today's modern CPUs consist of multi- Multi, multiple cores that allow uh, that allow it to perform multiple instructions at once, effectively cramming several CPUs onto a single chip. Entry-level processors today have between two or four cores, while six to eight cores is more mainstream in gaming devices and, and PCs. High-end models have anywhere from 32 um, from 30 sorry anywhere up to 32 cores, and professional hardware can go beyond that jesus christ i didn't know that 32 cores okay jeez okay okay i understand so basically uh yeah you guys get it i think yeah okay uh, many processors also employ a technology called simultaneous multi-threading imagine a single physical cpu core that can perform two lines of execution or threads at once thereby appearing as two thereby appearing as two logical cores on the operating system end i don't really get that we could read that again i guess many processors also employ a technology called simultaneous multi-threading imagine a single physical cpu core 
that can perform two lines of execution or threads at once, thereby appearing as two logical cores on the operating system end. Um, logical cores. I don't get that. What is the difference between logical cores and regular cores? Oh, unless they're stating, unless it's saying, I'd have to look into it, I guess. But from what I understand, it seems like you can kind of trick your system a little bit into thinking that it has more cores than it actually does. Say you have a, for simplicity's sake, a four core CPU, but you have two logical cores per core, making it an eight core CPU because per core it could um enable how how would i put this it's like it's like you have a two-in-one cashier i don't know why the grocery analogies from what i understand you pay one cashier to do two jobs oh that sounds like regular fucking america <laughs> just kidding but <laughs> you have uh, uh, a one cashier to do two jobs so let's say you had a cashier do um the, the actual cashiering as well as stocking. Um, so in, in technicality, you have two employees, but on paper, you only have one employee. I think, I think this is how it's working. <laughs> I could be wrong. Um, these virtual cores aren't as powerful as physical cores because they share the same resources, but overall they can help improve the CPO's multitasking performance when running uh, comparable software okay so i think i'm right so technically yeah and this would work logically as well the person that you're paying for one job but is doing two probably won't do either one really really great but it'll help the overall efficiency of a store i think i think i'm right i could be wrong clock speed prominently uh clock speed is prominently advertised when you are looking for cpus this is the gigahertz gigahertz uh, gigahertz figure uh, figure that effectively denotes how many instructions a CPU can handle per second. But that's not the whole picture regarding performance. Clock speed mostly comes into play when comparing CPUs from the same product family or generation. What is good with the... Why is... Why do I have Christmas lo-fi? I don't know if y'all are fucking with that Christmas lo-fi, but we're going to keep going. Um, clock speed mostly comes into play when comparing CPUs from the same product family or generation. When all else is the same, a faster clock speed means faster processor. However, a 3 gigahertz processor from 2010 will deliver less work than a 2 gigahertz processor from 2020. 2020. Due to the newer models, more advanced underlying silicone. Silicon. I think it, that's how you pronounce it. Silicone is like the material. Silicon is like a chip. That could be whatever. Fuck it. Wait. Clock speed means faster processor. However, a 3 gigahertz processor from 2010 will deliver less work than a 2 gigahertz processor from 2020 due to the newer models, more advanced underlying silicon. Okay, okay. I get it. So even though it's gigahertz is less, clock speed predominantly advertises when you're looking at CPUs. It's a gigahertz figure that effectively denotes how many instructions the CPU can handle per second. Gigahertz. I wonder how that's denote, uh, denote, like how can you tell how can you read that in, gig in gigahertz? You know what I mean? I don't get it. I don't get how you can read gigahertz and understand the amount of data it can in like transcribe, not transcribe, but like how many things it could do at once. I don't really get that. Clock speed predominantly, uh, this is the gigahertz figure that effectively denotes how many instructions the CPU can handle per second. So if it's a three gigahertz CPU, could it, I don't know how many instructions it could, have. three, three instructions per second? That doesn't sound right. It sounds like it does it a lot faster, but I mean, I could be wrong. 
Uh, regarding the performance speed, blah, 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 I already read all this. Uh, you, how much you pay for a CPU? We have several guides to give you some suggestions for the best CPUs you can buy. For general outline, however, unless you're a hardcore gamer or someone looking to edit videos, you don't need to spend more than 200 to $300. You can help keep the cost down by avoiding the latest uh, hardware and instead sticking to the recent generation of CPU. Cool. For CPUs, that means 12th to 13th generation chips. You can determine their generation by the product name. For instance, an I -core, a Core i7-10700K is an older 10th gen chip, while the Core i5-13600K is a newer 13th generation chip. Oh, okay, okay. It's because of the 10, I think. <laughs> I think. So Core i Core i seven hundred ten wait i seven ten seven hundred K is a tenth generation chip, right? Oh yeah 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 is an older tenth generation chip while the uh, i five thirteen six hundred K is a newer generation chip that's a thirteenth generation chip. Okay, <laughs> AMD does something similar with their Ryzen CPUs. The Ryzen 9 3950X is a third generation chip, while the Ryzen 7 5700X is a fourth generation chip. CPUs based on the company's uh, Z3 architecture, Ryzen 4000 was replaced as a laptop chip line, and the APU form. Jesus. Give me two seconds. AMD did something similar with their Ryzen CPUs. The Ryzen 9 3950X is a third generation chip, while a Ryzen 7 5700X is a fourth generation chip, uh, generation CPU based on the company's Zen 3 architecture. Ryzen 4000 was released as a laptop chip line in, and in APU form with very limited ability on desktop through system builders. I have no idea what that sentence means. APU, I've never heard of. I don't know what that means. With uh, with that in mind, it's arguable whether the Ryzen 7000 is technically the fifth generation of AMD's Ryzen CPUs, CPU, but it's uh, but it's the latest and most recent. Uh, and most recently, AMD has unified its laptop APU. What is APU? What does APU stand for? An APU is an accelerated processing unit. They're manufactured by AMD and as a way to house a CPU and GPU on, an, on a central die. This allows for effective resources sharing between the two components and it offers great core and thread count as an affordable price. Okay. Uh, basically, it's a different type of accelerated processing unit. It's a different type of CPU, I'm guessing. What is an APU? <laughs> Maybe I should uh, chill out with this. Okay, we're good. <sighs> Wait, what kind of CPU do I have? I know I have Ryzen, but now I'm interested. Um, Unified is a laptop APU and desktop platform under Ryzen 7000 banner. How important is the CPU? These days, your CPU isn't as important as the overall system performance. Uh, wait, sorry. These days, your CPU isn't as important for overall system performance as it once was but it still plays a major role in the response and speed of your compu uh, computing device. And without one, it wouldn't work at all. Gamers will generally find a benefit from higher clock speeds while more serious work such as CAD and video editing will see an improvement uh, from higher CPU core count. Okay. Well, if you wanted to do both, 
and you kind of need the highest end shit, I guess. Because technically, if you're looking for a thread count, which I think is how many cores can perform an action at once, or at like uh, intervals, I don't know. Anyway. You should hear. Uh, you should bear in mind that your CPU is a part of a system, so you want to be sure you have enough RAM and have fast enough storage that can f feed data to your CPU. Perhaps the largest question mark will hang over the graphics card as you generally require some balance within your PC, both in terms of performance and cost. Now that you understand the role of the CPU. You can better position, uh, better position. You're in a better position to make an educated choice about your computing hardware. Use the guide to learn more about the best chips in AMD and Intel. Nice, cool. That was only half an hour. I can learn more about CPUs. How does CPU work? Central processing. Um. What is the, uh, I should put like, what does, what does, what does thread count mean CPU? The core, let's see. Is it better to have more cores or threads? Number of cores. More cores generally mean better multitasking, improved performance of, and improved performance for demanding application. Number of threads, more threads can lead to increased uh, efficiency, especially when using applications that can take advantage of multi-threads. Hmm. In this scenario of eight core CPU with two threads per core, the CPU boasts 16 threads for, multi, uh, for task execution. Multi-threading empowers a CPU to run multiple threads of code uh, concurrently, handling concurrent tasks within processes simultaneously. Hmm. What are threads and what do they what do they do in the processor? I want to see really quick what are my um I'm going to look super quick to see what my CPU is. Now I want to see. Oh no. Oh yes, nice. Okay. When did I build this shit? Was it in 2021? Or 2020? Oh my god, it was in 2020. It's about to be a four year old PC. Jesus. Time for some major upgrades, baby. Damn, bro. I can't believe I made this PC three years ago almost. That's insane. I literally haven't even like, I've cleaned it, but I haven't like deep cleaned it. I probably should. 160 FTP. Uh, next, next, I feel like next week we have to get into graphics cards. Cause I really, I think now more than ever, I probably need a graphics card. I was completely wrong on, oops. I gotta uh, stop doing that. <laughs> Me two seconds. I need the max win. I need the max win. Swin. I 
Ami, Tamma, Xui. Yeah. Actually. I'm trying to look at something really quick, I'm so sorry. Give me two schmeckens. Give me two schmeckens. Give me two schmeckens. Give me two schmeckens. That's okay. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Just don't do it again, Damien. Just chill, just don't do it again. We're okay. We are a-okay. Oh, damn. Okay, sorry. I might need a CPU real bad. <laughs> oh no, I might need a CPU real bad. Okay. Okay. Jeez, it's because there's so many things to take into consideration. This is the CPU I have. Um, if I go in here, will it show? No, it should be okay. Um, we'll just, yeah, we'll just get out of here. Hold on. Okay. We'll go into new egg. So <clears throat> right now I have an AMD Ryzen seven second gen. So this is a second generation. The reason I know this now is because I learned how to read this. 2700 X is the second generation of their 700 line. I think. Anyway, um, so if I get what what generation are they even on now? Ryzen um, chip recent gen. They're on Ryzen nine. Oh my god, they're on their eighth generation. What is the latest Ryzen generation? The latest technology. Uh, with great progress, power comes with cutting edge technology to support select. They're on their 5000 series processor, comes with a full suite of technologies designed to craziness. Okay, well, what can I... This is the thing, too, is that there's certain socket sizes. So, for a socket AM4, you have... Um, maybe I should go to PC Part Builder. Oh my god, we're doing so many things now. Check if the site is connected issues. Verify I'm a human. I am a human, in fact. Start your build, okay. So could I put, oh, could I put a um, Ryzen, is it Ryzen 7 now? Uh, now I wanna look at, to see how to read, unless they are very similar, because if it's FX, RX, 5700 XT, 50, 57, would that be fifth generation on their 700 line or seventh? I don't know. Ryzen 7, uh, what can I put? 5700 X? Ryzen 5700X series, eight core socket AM4, 50 watt desktop computer. Technically, wait. 5700X, Ryzen 8 cores, socket AM4, 65 watt desktop processor. Would this technically be faster because it's a newer silicon? Or the same because it's an eight core 
principal package in Zen plus eight core, 3.7 gigahertz, 4.3 gigahertz max boost. No box, eight core, 4.6 gigahertz. So if it's 4.6 gigahertz across the board, which we now know is the amount of tasks it can do per second if they're the same, by what I just read, technically the new i mean it's it's because it's a newer silicon the newer silicon is going to be faster just because the technology has improved over the years not necessarily because you're getting a faster performance just possibly because of its efficiency per component um how do you i'm trying to do analogies for my sake not because i think anybody watching is dumb but i'm trying to think in terms of in terms of like analogies, it's like the equivalent of like comparing a, maybe like a truck to a, no, I don't know. I don't know what you would do it like with analogy wise. Something that's efficient. Oh, no, but this is like tech. I'm trying to think like year over year, Apple makes basically, and everybody shits on them, the same phone, right? Everybody's like, it's the same, it's the same. But technically, they make a better phone every single year, whether it be the cameras, whether it be the battery, but it's almost always the chipset. The chipset inside the phone is usually more efficient, can do more with less battery, and the more battery you get, uh, literally, because they try to expand the battery every year, so that way you're like, well, it's a better, bigger battery. You can technically squeeze more juice out of this year over year. So if you were to scroll on Facebook for 10 hours on the iPhone 14, and then they came out and said, if this was a metric, and then they came out and said, you can scroll for 11 hours now on the same device, it has a little bit of a bigger battery, but also it has a little bit more efficiency because of the chip. Technically, I think that's what they always try to do. Um, and this is exact. I was trying to do it in comparison to something else because it's a chipset. It's chip to chip. So it's pretty apples to apples, but it's kind of more literal. Um, I was trying to think of another like example, but I was thinking about cars and I was going to compare like an F-150 to like a, um, a Toyota like Tacoma or something like that. One is going to be more efficient. Um, and then I was going to bring the years into them. I don't know. I was going to get too complicated. So whatever. But then I like start to look at this. All right. And this. Um, so this is a first gen Ryzen Threadripper 1920 by 12 cores. So this has 12 cores, 24 threads. So technically, does that have 24 logic cores? Does that what that means? 3.5 gigahertz socket. So, okay. Oh, so this is the socket. Sorry. There's 35 gigahertz socket is an S um, TR4. And this socket size is usually displayed on the actual motherboard. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me do a little PC part picking. <laughs> Hold on. Give me two seconds. Build a PC with me. Bum bum dum dum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba bum bum bum. Build a PC with me. Yo, build a PC with me. Now I'm getting excited. Oh, how exciting! Okay, we're gonna put a video card. We're gonna choose a video card and we're gonna pick the one that we already have. Um, XFX triple dissipation XT. I don't know if it's XT. I don't think it is. Okay. It's just this one. Storage. 
Um, oh, I have the... Shit, I should probably do this on a different page because I kind of want to save this information. It's okay. We'll have it all saved in our minds and our hearts. Where the fuck is my... should have been doing that why didn't I do that so I'm on a different screen because I want to make sure that I'm not doxing myself but also grabbing all the right information here there we go it's a saber end and me 4.0 here it is we'll add that oh my god That's crazy, that's a really good price. I might buy myself a real quick uh, memory card there. Um, it looks like these 16 gigs. It looks literally exactly like this. I'm trying to get rid of 16 gigs, two, and then you already did our four, 3600, 3600. MT, what the fuck is MT? Hold on. Gigabyte, oh, I guess by two. Thirty two. Okay. Okay, so I got two of those. Uh, motherboard, we're gonna go in and see what motherboard I have. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're upgrading the PC at some point this year, at some point. Not right right now. We're not right right now, chat. No, no siree, Bob. Add this. It's like a stock cooler. I don't know. And then we just had this uh, AMD Ryzen second gen, Ryzen 700. Nice. Okay. Shit, I have no idea what the case is. Oh wait, I have it here on my Amazon. performance on any crystal really bruv are you serious how does it not have it you still buy it on amazon oh shit i'm gonna have to leave soon I'm gonna have to leave soon. I'm on a paper trying to call home all of the da, 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 da. Uh. It's annoying. Um
Cause it's not so bad, it's not so bad. What about this? Antic. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah, I did it. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah, oh hell yeah. Nova. Jesus. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Okay. Monitors? Damn, should I even do the monitors? CPU cooler. How do I put, like, stock? <laughs> How do I put the stock one? Uh... Select the one, include an email. Oh, I think this is actually it. Wait, is it? Cause it's not so bad, it's not so bad. Hold on, um, prism, oh, wraith cooler. Okay, okay, okay. LED. Nice, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, baby. Compatibility, see notes below. Estimated wattage. <gasps> Bro, guys, look at this. This is what? Ooh, building a PC. This is, I literally just built my PC that I have right now. This is what I have. Um, like perfectly, like exactly what I have. Somebody take a picture, please. All right, so this is, this is what I'm a little torn about. If I upgrade the, I want to see if I can change the cooler, the cooler, and then also the CPU at some point. I want to buy like a gen, like a like a more um, like a liquid cooled cooler, <laughs> just to bring the temps down, and I feel like it would be better overall for the PC. Uh, but then I also want to change out the CPU, but I don't know if there's going to be any sort of like weird issues with it. Technically, I think I can change out this to this. Horizon 5700 with eight core socket AM4. So this will fit my uh, computer. This will fit my motherboard because the socket is an AM4, but I partially want the best um best series of chip that i can find for this socket like to be able to co be compatible with my cp uh with my motherboard sorry so if it's a ryzen 7 i should just put ryzen cpu i, I don't know i don't know what it would spit out ryzen 5 No, because that's going to be Ryzen 7 5800. A Ryzen 7 5800X. Ryzen 7 5800. So this is the fifth series. Right? But now I don't know how to denote or know which one is better between the ryzen 9 5900x or the F ryzen 9 5950x i imagine 5950 is going to be way better oh yeah 16 core 3.4 gigahertz socket oh but this is the better socket i mean this is the same socket technically i could buy this chip could i throw can i just throw this into the build let's find out okay we're gonna grab um this and we're gonna add the cpu and then we're gonna add this and we're gonna see what it does compatibility warning these parts have potential issues and incompatible but why technically the sockets are right right warning amd oh the the asrock x5700 phantom 4s yeah the motherboard supports amd ryzen Supports the Ryzen, da, da 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 So the new chip with BIOS version P320. If the motherboard is using an older BIOS version, updating the BIOS will ne 
will be necessary to support the CPU. Disclaimer, some physical dimensions, uh, dimension constraints are uh, currently not checked, such as P uh, CPU cooler and RAM clearance. RAM should be fine. Clearance for a CPU should be fine. But the BIOS would need to be updated. Okay. That isn't bad. That is not bad. Oh my god, and then... I didn't realize how cool PC Part Picker was. It tells you what slots are still available. I didn't even know my, my shit had three M.2 slots. Wow, the more you know. <laughs> I'm so excited now. Okay, I think I might have to wrap this up. It's been an hour. On the dot, really. I just looked at the time. Oh, no, it's an hour and, and one minute. Sue me. Okay. I think I have a little bit of a better understanding of what CPUs do, how they function. They're essentially turning on and off. When we went to Micro Center, did I recommend this site to you over... Uh, didn't I recommend this site to you over a year ago when we went to Micro Center? Um, I don't know. I've known about this site for a little while. I've just never used it. I don't know if you're the first person to tell me about it or I knew about it prior and I just never used it. I don't remember, but very good. Very good. It's a good site. I need, I need to use it more. And honestly, I wish I was doing this on my regular shit. So that way I can keep it. I might just copy and paste this shit really quick. Wait, do I have a PC part bigger? Cause I know I did this right here. I want to make sure I have hold on. PC part picker. Cause I have like a profile and everything. Um, login, sign in. Yeah, baby. Builder, start your build. Product guidelines. Okay, none of this shit you guys are gonna see. So, sorry about it. Alrighty, I have to go. Overall. We've come to understand that PCs are very complicated and we're gonna get way more into the weeds and everything. I hope people stepped away from this if you're still listening at all. Um, that was a little negative. <laughs> I hope that you got a little bit more out of this. I try to bring more analogies into this, not only for the people who might be on the watch back, uh, but also for myself, um, not because I think you're dumb, but because I want to be able to understand and the best way to probably do that is to explain it in a way that other people might understand. And if somebody has something to say that can correct me and better me in the future, I hope you do in the comments. Um, CPUs at the end of the day, they're just turning on and off and the computer is transcribing that. Either the computer is or that's just the way that components work as switches on and off. And uh, the way and the pattern that it switches on and off will enable the computer to execute different functions um that's very very basics of what a cpu is and an, i only scratched the surface i'm sure the naming and the how everything kind of works together is still we're still gonna uncover and figure out later later uh, later in you know in the future once we do more of these um and how everything talks to each other so for right now it seems like cpu talks to the ram the ram holds a lot of your what you're doing right now it's basically i think i said this earlier the target cart that you're rolling around with and you're able to grab certain things out of there and then put certain things back really really quick and the cpu is enacting different uh different actions depending on what you would like it to do and the ram is what's telling it basically throwing it code and saying do this CPU is grabbing it, decoding it, recoding it, and then understanding this is what we need to do. Um, yeah, all the naming and shit we have to get into a little bit more, but uh, but we'll get into it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has given you a little bit better of an idea of what CPUs are and what they you know what they do for us <laughs> and how to choose a better CPU. Maybe I don't know the naming and stuff. We still have to get into, and I'll get into that. Uh, but yeah. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. This has been a dead battery. First episode. Be safe.
Peace. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Oh, I didn't even do that full screen. Thank you so much. For I'm just kidding. Peace. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you so much for watching.